Ben and Sarah had been together for nearly a decade, with six years of marriage under their belt. They were that couple who could finish each other's sentences and whose love still glimmered even in the smallest moments. But Sarah had sensed something was off with Ben recently. He'd grown distant, withdrawn, as if carrying a weight he couldn't name. They'd always been able to share everything, but now, there was a gap that words couldn't bridge. One night, after they'd spend an evening on the couch watching a romantic comedy, Sarah decided to take a chance. She glanced at him, playfully tugging at her dress. Ben, I have an idea. What if, she trailed off, smirking as she noticed his curiosity peaked. What if you tried on my dress, just for fun? She expected him to laugh it off or throw a pillow at her, but to her surprise, Ben looked at her thoughtfully and nodded. All right, why not, he said, more to his surprise than hers. Upstairs, Sarah rummaged through her closet and picked out a simple dress. Ben took a deep breath and slipped it on, his cheeks flushing as he saw himself in the mirror. Sarah grinned, reaching for her makeup bag. She brushed a bit of color onto his lips, added some light foundation, and even dabbed a hint of perfume on his wrist. Now, meet Brianna, she announced, giggling. And as she stood back to admire her handiwork, she could see something shift in Ben's expression, almost as if he recognized himself in a way he hadn't before. It was all meant to be lighthearted and fun, but Sarah noticed how Ben seemed to linger in front of the mirror, observing Brianna, with more curiosity than he let on. That night, as they lay in bed, she turned to him, brushing her fingers along his arm. Did you like it? she asked softly, sensing the vulnerability beneath his silence. It felt, strange, he admitted, almost as if struggling for the right words. But not in a bad way. Days passed, and every now and then, Sarah would catch him glancing at her clothes or running his fingers along a fabric, as though drawn to something he couldn't fully explain. Finally, one evening, he came to her and asked, Could we, do it again? Sarah didn't hesitate. She helped him pick out another outfit and styled his hair a bit differently, even choosing a new name, Brianna. Each night, this routine became their shared secret, a ritual that bonded them in ways neither could have expected. But for Ben, Brianna was becoming more than just an outfit or an alter ego. Brianna felt like freedom, an expression of himself he'd never dared to explore. As weeks turned into months, Ben began embracing Brianna more fully. He studied the way Sarah moved, the way she laughed, and found himself mirroring her without realizing it. Their marriage was transforming, no longer bound by traditional roles, but expanding into something raw and deeply honest. One evening, Sarah invited him to go out with her as Brianna. At first, Ben was reluctant and terrified, even, but he trusted her. She helped him choose an outfit that made him feel confident, as if Brianna had been there all along, just waiting to be acknowledged. They went to a quiet cafe on the other side of town, where no one knew them, and as they sat together, Brianna felt at ease, blending seamlessly into the environment. Ben could see the admiration in Sarah's eyes, and in that moment, he felt fully seen, accepted. As Brianna became more integral to their lives, Ben began questioning his identity. I feel like I'm living a double life, he confessed one night. I'm starting to feel more like Brianna than I ever did as myself. Sarah listened, holding his hands in hers. I love Brianna. But I love Ben, too. No matter what, I'm here for you. They both knew that they'd reached a point of no return, a crossroads where decisions had to be made. Gradually, Ben started presenting as Brianna more often, even around their closest friends. He sought therapy, trying to make sense of the shift within him, and realized that Brianna wasn't just a persona, she was who he was all along. He embarked on a journey of transitioning, with Sarah by his side every step of the way, navigating the complexities of identity, family, and society's expectations. Years passed, and Brianna found herself more at peace than she ever imagined. She and Sarah built a life of love and understanding, proving that their connection had grown beyond physical forms or names. They faced challenges, moments of doubt, and questions from those around them, but they never lost sight of the love that bound them together. In choosing authenticity, they had found a deeper sense of fulfillment, proving that sometimes, the journey to truly satisfy another begins with embracing one's own truth. The journey didn't come without its trials. Each step forward seemed to bring as many doubts as it did answers. 
For Ben, now Brianna, the shift was more than just a new identity, it was an unpeeling of layers, each one revealing vulnerabilities and secrets she had buried even from herself. After Brianna's first night out with Sarah, they spent hours talking about the way she felt, her anxieties, her hopes, and the confusing blend of emotions that surged within her every time she looked in the mirror. Sarah, for her part, was committed to making Brianna feel cherished, but even she had questions she struggled to voice. What does this mean for us, she sometimes wondered. But when she saw Brianna's eyes light up with happiness, her doubts melted away. Brianna found herself making more changes, some subtle, some bold. She experimented with hairstyles, choosing softer waves that framed her face. She started altering her wardrobe bit by bit, feeling an incredible sense of relief with each small addition. Brianna was becoming herself, and with every step, she felt closer to the woman she wanted to be. Yet, outside their home, the world wasn't as kind. When Brianna began dressing more femininely in public, people who knew Ben from before started noticing. Friends, family members, and co-workers looked at her differently. Sometimes there were whispers, awkward silences, or questioning looks that hurt more than she wanted to admit. Sarah saw the toll it was taking and urged Brianna to confide in her. You don't have to go through this alone, she assured her. But the weight of the transition, of being known as someone else for so long, was something Brianna struggled to articulate, even to Sarah. One night, during dinner with her in-laws, a tense conversation arose. Brianna's mother-in-law, a strong-willed woman with traditional views, voiced what everyone else had been thinking. Ben. I mean, Brianna, she said with evident discomfort, I just don't understand. What happened to the man Sarah married? The words stung, and Brianna fought to hold back her tears. Sarah gripped her hand beneath the table, sending a silent message of support. Brianna took a deep breath, then found the strength to respond. I haven't changed who I am. I'm just becoming more myself. Her voice trembled, but there was conviction in her words. She realized that this wasn't just a test of her own strength, but of her family's willingness to accept her truth. Over the months, the family dynamic shifted. Some relatives distanced themselves, struggling to accept the change, while others grew closer, embracing Brianna wholeheartedly. It was painful, but Sarah's unwavering support helped Brianna stay grounded. They leaned on each other, building a new life around mutual respect and trust. Sarah assured Brianna that her love was unconditional, and together, they created their own little haven, safe from the judgments of the outside world. The first time Brianna reintroduced herself at work was another hurdle. Her boss, Mr. Daniels, was an old-fashioned man who had known Ben for years. She braced herself for his reaction, fearing the worst. But to her surprise, he adjusted his glasses and said, If this is who you are, Brianna, then I'll respect it. Not everyone was as accepting, but having allies, however few, gave her strength. Brianna and Sarah soon became advocates, sharing their journey with others, hoping to build understanding and empathy. They started a support group for partners navigating similar transitions, offering a space for honest conversation, tears, and laughter. The group grew quickly, and in time, Brianna found herself guiding others through their own journeys, just as Sarah had done for her. Years passed, and their love transformed right along with them. Sarah often reflected on that night so long ago when it had all started as a simple game. She had been looking to reignite their relationship, but instead, they had found something even deeper, a life where love was boundless and identity was free. Together, Brianna and Sarah became a testament to the power of love that surpasses form and identity. And as they aged, they took comfort in knowing they had each other, not as man and wife, but as two souls who had chosen each other, over and over, even when the world couldn't understand. They had crossed a point of no return, but they had done so hand in hand, ready to face anything as long as they were together. Brianna's journey continued to reveal new depths, each stage exposing emotions and reflections she hadn't anticipated. With Sarah by her side, she had begun the path toward physically transitioning, a choice that took hours of soul-searching and late-night talks. This step felt like the truest commitment to the self she had spent so many years suppressing. Sarah's support was steadfast, yet the changes brought challenges that neither had foreseen. 
While they had found a profound love for each other's spirits, the physical and emotional aspects of Brianna's transition occasionally left Sarah grappling with feelings she hadn't anticipated. Some days, Sarah would catch herself missing the familiar man who had been her husband, even as she loved and accepted Brianna. The changes, however, didn't weaken her commitment. If anything, they reminded her of the strength and honesty they'd built into their marriage. Brianna was patient, giving Sarah space to express her feelings and honoring their shared vulnerabilities. They'd talk openly, letting their relationship grow within this new reality. And through it all, they never lost their playfulness, their shared humor, or the shared memories that had once bonded them as husband and wife but now flourished into a relationship that defied labels. Meanwhile, Brianna had started to document her experiences online, sharing the highs and lows of her transformation journey with a supportive online community. Her blog, titled Becoming Brianna, quickly gained traction, resonating with people who related to her story. Every post was raw and honest, chronicling everything from facing strangers' judgment to moments of self-acceptance and joy. It became a safe space, not just for Brianna, but for readers around the world who were seeking understanding, validation, or simply a voice that felt like their own. With Sarah's encouragement, Brianna began speaking at conferences and local events. She became an advocate for transgender acceptance and rights, sharing her story to help others find strength. Her talks were heartfelt, focusing on the human aspect of her journey and the importance of self-love and authenticity. She discussed how her relationship with Sarah had evolved, showing the audience a side of their marriage that went beyond the surface, a true partnership where love adapted, grew, and thrived amid change. As time passed, Brianna and Sarah's relationship took on new dimensions. They decided to renew their wedding vows, not as a man and wife, but as two souls bound by unconditional love. On the day of the ceremony, surrounded by friends, family, and members of their community, Brianna wore a stunning gown, radiating joy and confidence. Sarah stood beside her, a silent promise in her gaze, as they exchanged vows that spoke to their commitment to honesty, growth, and unwavering support. The event was beautiful, but not without its challenges. Sarah's mother, who had struggled with Brianna's transition, looked on with tear-filled eyes, grappling with emotions she didn't fully understand. Brianna approached her after the ceremony, offering a hug, which her mother-in-law hesitated to accept at first. But when she did, it felt like a breakthrough, a tentative step toward acceptance that Brianna had never thought possible. Slowly, Sarah's mother became one of Brianna's greatest allies, standing up for her whenever she encountered criticism or misunderstanding from others. Through these experiences, Brianna found that every difficulty was met with unexpected moments of grace. When she least expected it, life offered her glimpses of acceptance, like the elderly neighbor who invited her and Sarah for tea, saying, I may not fully understand, dear, but I know that love is love, and I see that clearly between you two. Eventually, Brianna's journey inspired her to write a book. Titled Love Beyond Limits, A Journey of Transformation, it chronicled her experiences and the relationship she shared with Sarah. The book became a bestseller, celebrated for its honesty and the tender exploration of how love could transcend societal expectations and norms. Sarah and Brianna were invited to speak at book signings, television shows, and even universities. They became a beacon of hope for couples facing challenges of identity and transformation, showing that love could endure and even deepen when faced with authenticity. But perhaps the most profound change was the one that happened in their own hearts. Over the years, Sarah had let go of her old image of Ben and had fallen entirely for Brianna, finding a partner who shared her dreams, fears, and laughter. Brianna, in turn, had become the woman she always longed to be, living her truth without apology, free from the weight of her past. They had long since crossed the point of no return. Together, they had redefined marriage, community, and even themselves. And as they grew old together, they often reflected on that simple, playful night when Sarah had suggested he try on her dress. A suggestion that, while seemingly innocent, had set them on a journey that would bring them closer to each other than they'd ever dreamed possible. In their final years, Sarah and Brianna remained each other's unwavering pillars, their love a testament to the power of transformation. They had found their true selves, not just as individuals, but as lifelong partners who had proven that love, above all, was the most transformative force of all. The years passed peacefully for Sarah and Brianna, their love aging like fine wine. 
Each anniversary became a quiet celebration of everything they had endured and achieved, a reminder of the night when a simple suggestion had become the beginning of something far greater than either of them had imagined. Brianna continued her advocacy work, though she had scaled back from the public events, preferring to focus on mentoring others one-on-one. -on -one. She volunteered at the local LGBTQ plus center, leading support groups for those who, like her, were exploring their identity and seeking acceptance. Her work allowed her to share the wisdom she'd gained over the years, helping others find strength in their journeys. Often, Sarah joined her, offering support to partners who felt lost, providing a unique perspective that had proven invaluable to so many. One of the most fulfilling aspects of Brianna's later years was her mentorship of a young woman named Alex, who reminded Brianna so much of her younger self. Alex had come to the support group one evening, shy and unsure, barely able to voice her truth. Over countless coffee dates and quiet walks, Brianna helped Alex find her confidence, standing by her as she took her first steps into the world as her true self. Watching Alex blossom reminded Brianna of her own transformation and brought her a deep sense of purpose. At home, Sarah and Brianna's relationship evolved in beautiful and unexpected ways. They traveled often, exploring countries and cultures that had long been on their bucket list. On these trips, they relished the freedom to be themselves, free from the judgment or expectations that had once burdened them. They'd spend hours in cafes, museums, and small countryside towns, simply enjoying each other's company. One evening, during a quiet walk along a beach in Greece, Sarah took Brianna's hand and whispered, I'm so grateful for every part of our journey. I wouldn't change a thing. Brianna smiled, squeezing Sarah's hand, feeling that same spark they'd shared from the beginning. Their love had not only endured but had flourished, adapting and deepening with each passing year. Back home, Brianna had become an accomplished writer, having published several books about identity, relationships, and self-acceptance. Her stories were read by people around the world, touching the lives of those who were struggling or searching for their path. She and Sarah received countless letters from readers, each one expressing gratitude for the courage they had found through Brianna's words. In response, Brianna and Sarah began hosting retreats, where they could meet readers face-to-face, -face, creating a safe space for self-exploration and healing. In their later years, Brianna and Sarah turned their focus to giving back. They started a foundation to support young people in the LGBTQ community, funding education, safe housing, and mental health support. They wanted to ensure that future generations wouldn't have to face the same challenges in isolation or fear. As they entered their 70s, Sarah and Brianna still held their annual vow renewals, a tradition they'd started after Brianna's initial transition. Their commitment was a reminder of the unconditional love they had shared, a love that had embraced every change, weathered every storm, and celebrated every victory. Their relationship was a testament to the strength that could be found in vulnerability and the beauty of choosing love over fear. One evening, as they sat on their porch watching the sunset, Sarah turned to Brianna, her eyes soft with a look of pure love. Do you remember that first night, she asked, her voice filled with nostalgia. When you tried on my dress. Brianna chuckled, the memory as vivid as ever. How could I forget? That night changed everything. They sat in comfortable silence, each lost in the memories of their journey. Brianna realized that she wouldn't have become the person she was without Sarah's love and acceptance. She leaned her head on Sarah's shoulder, feeling a deep gratitude that words could never express. Eventually, as they grew older, their bodies grew frilier, but their spirits remained unbreakable. Brianna knew that when the time came for them to part, she would carry Sarah's love with her always. They had built a life, a legacy, and a love story that would continue to inspire others long after they were gone. As Sarah's health declined, Brianna became her caretaker, a role she took on with the same love and dedication Sarah had shown her throughout her own journey. Sarah, in her final days, would often whisper, Thank you, Brianna, for being my forever, and Brianna, through tears, would smile and hold her close, promising, I always will be. Sarah passed peacefully, surrounded by the love and life they had built together. In the days that followed, Brianna found solace in the many letters and messages she received from those whose lives she and Sarah had touched. She found comfort knowing that their love had left a lasting mark on the world. In honor of Sarah's memory, Brianna continued their work, dedicating herself to helping others find the courage to be themselves. 
she spoke at Sarah's favorite events, wore her favorite dresses, and lived in a way that honored everything they had shared. And even though Sarah was gone, Brianna knew that she would never truly be alone. Sarah's love was a part of her now, woven into every fiber of her being. Theirs was a love that had crossed every boundary, weathered every storm, and grown stronger with every challenge. Brianna lived the rest of her days in peace, forever carrying Sarah's love within her heart, grateful for a journey that had taken them both beyond the point of no return and brought them into a world where love, in all its forms, was enough.